He started grooming horses at an early age. Then, as fate would have it, he missed out on 17 years before returning to the endeavor he loves so much. He has groomed horses in Jamaica, St. Kitts, and in Trinidad and Tobago. He is best remembered for his long and successful association with Triple Crown winner She's a Maneater. He is Luisito da Costa. Da Costa shares his lifetime narrative with QuickGallop.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Speaking with groom Luisito Bandit da Costa. Yeah. Mr. Da Costa, good morning, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Bandit, you are known as the groom of She's a Manita. And we could not start this interview without talking about this wonderful resource. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people that we have spoken with, they believe she's certainly in contention for being one of the best horses to have raced here. Begin by telling us about She's a Manita. What kind of horse was she? She was a Jane Rasta, she don't get a choice. She was really just quiet. She was quiet like that. Mm -hmm. Never get in trouble. Early, as a two year old, he get away from that stand them chest. Two back from the chest. Stand in the chest? Yes. Uh -huh. A lot of people say, let him go, let him go. I said, no, I'm not letting go. I'm holding the same way. I'm just chasing her. And the pain out. Mm -hmm. so I could not stop him letting go. I'm going to him in the chest. Okay. Yes, sir. So at that time, did you recognize that this horse is something special? Yes. Car, all right. Put this way. I gave a young ass to Kinafa. And when I went to the man, he come to me and say, What? The young ass, you have to to somebody. I have something special for you. Come up by a chop. Come up, man, went to the man. I mean, go for that ass, I have a chop. I have him. And come in. Everybody start to ask that champion. Everybody. Why? Just looking at her? Look. We should look. Mm -hmm. What specifically? We what should about build. Looks? We should build. Mm -hmm. Build Tashi. Mm -hmm. Confirmation. Or confirmation wise. So even now we look past she. To different houses. You can't mm -hmm. see different. Mm -hmm. And Tell that has come up to be a champion. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the first time she raced. What was the preparation like? When you prepare, she had two years come up. And it's the first time in Australia going around a good time. And then one five people. First, first day, mm -hmm. five and a half. Five and a half. Mm -hmm. We got six trail line a week, and we one eleven. Mm -hmm. We just by the third time win, and the fourth day, and I said here, certain way I beat my grandma. Mm -hmm. Next year, they might use him bread and win that mile. Lick them back four hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who, who was that? One touch around, same brother. The next year, they might use him and lick them back four hours, not mile. Mm -hmm. How many races you won with, with She's a Manita? Nineteen. 19. Yeah. Tell us about some of those. She won the Triple Crown. As she won the Triple Crown. She won Super Steak. And some other years, 19 years I won it. Tell me about a typical day when, when, when this horse is going to the racetrack. How, how did she behave going to the races? No, she be quite going to the races now. Yeah. Up to the, the derby day, the TV came out the from Steve, from the look of the ass, be the mouth. To me, prepare him, change the track, camera the promise, get the track. Mm -hmm. I did with the first house, I think I don't like her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't bothered by all the attention? No, she was quiet, humble and quiet, a nice comforter, she don't raise, she don't do anything. Outside of kicking in the chest, of course. Oh, yeah, <laughs> true miserableness. <laughs> I remember one day before a race, mm -hmm. she got away and and run all the around in the in diamond, diamond mile. mile. How frightening was that? Well, that was frightening to me. When I used to tell number 12 hours, get away, I know it's my ass. I was upstairs. And I run down, go to her, down back to her, she walk away down around. And she never hurt herself. That was really... Yummy. If she raced back, it said then couldn't lose. Tell you. Mm -hmm. But they decided not to start out. Yeah. So, tremendous, tremendous success with She's a Manita. But Mr. Da Costa, where did it all start for you? How did you get involved in horse racing? I guess I was racing too. I live with born and going to the park here. And my mother attended to town. I learned trade when I was 14. And after that, 
after that, I just, I never like town. So I come back here, I didn't know any other thing mm -hmm. from town, from Charles Street. So I come here, I, I go around him, start to cut grass for him, until I get a good life for him in 1978. 78? Yeah, my first race I went in the house, freezing fast. Mm -hmm. Who was the jockey? I've been in your video. What journey? Maybe six furlongs. Six furlongs? Yeah. What was that feeling like? I think that feeling was feeling good. Because mm -hmm. as a young gum, we are yes, feeling gum. And from there I just get started. Mm -hmm. Who would have been some of the trainers you would have worked with as a groom? No. No, as a groom, throughout the years. Oh, oh, I work with, I go to Kent Mattis. I leave Kent Mattis. I leave, we go to Kent Mattis. Leave Mattis and go to, to, to Morgan. Mm -hmm. Come here, me and is get up. And leave go to Morgan. And from Morgan, I lose my license there for 17 years. 17 years? 17 years I lose my license for. Mm -hmm. And I go away down the country. I spend 17 years down the country. Come back 2001, I work with Francis for a while, and then I left, go to McLeod. I go to McLeod and win a couple of races. And then I leave to St. Kitts, looking at us. Come back here, leave, go to Trinidad, look up for us. When I come back in 2013, I go by Jugga Elliott. Then I beg Wayne and work and he must come by him. What year was that? When did you start? 2014 I work with him. 2014? I come back here in 2013, mm -hmm. around 2014. Mm -hmm. Start work with him. First year we know we ended up in East St. Bolt. Mm? East St. Bolt. Okay. Yeah, I went two races out. Mm -hmm. Then, from that I get going. He just liked me like that. Man was good friend like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good. I rate him like that. Tell you, I win more races there, more I lose. I do almost much start today. About how many races you would have won as a groom? 400? Mm-hmm. Only 80 years. If I check them. And how many with Mr. Lacosta? Roughly. All right, I win 38 years with Mr. Lacosta. 38? 38. And 19 with... Not 5 years, 38. And 19 with... She's a manita. Manita. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I ask differently. How have you enjoyed the journey as a group? Well, I enjoy the journey. I love the game. I love horses. I love the animal. Mm -hmm. Once I get changed in Africa, it's my pet that. Mm -hmm. I think Nick Kyle is a rough and rough. It's my pet that. Probably the best of them mm -hmm. in the long run. You are now a trainer, Anthony Nunes. Yeah. How many horses are you taking care of here? I think care of four right now. And they are? One, Ma Madame Merkel. Mother of America? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's one and uh, made she old on it and two two year old. Okay. Don't run it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dacosta, could you tell the racing public yeah. what it entails in in looking about a horse? From you coming in the morning, yeah. what's the first thing you do and you know, the second, third yeah. So when you come in the morning, you have four taking care, you go around and look at everybody alright. Mm-hmm. Then if you look at everybody all right, you come to the one you carry the truck first. And you circle that out, figure that out to the truck. Mm -hmm. Then you keep going, next, next, next. Mm -hmm. you, just, you start together, have them together, and you let them go when they're supposed to. So you, you are saying the first thing is to catch up the horse, see to it that he is okay, no. saddle, send him out to the truck? When you come from your home to the stable, you have four African apples, go on and look at like four of them, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. After that, you get to the first one you're supposed to carry to the truck. You clean my up, saddle him, and carry him over. I'll send him over. And then you look about the stall? Yeah. Then the second one, the third one, then the fourth one. You did it. Mm -hmm. And when you say looking about the stall, just explain to the people who don't really understand what does well, it mean. Well, you take the dung and the pee out of the stall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me talk back. In other words, make right. the environment clean. conducive and clean, clean for the clean. animals. Yeah, mm -hmm. the animals, yeah, clean. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as they come back from the truck, yeah. you clean them up. Clean them up. Stay like I see a while ago. Mm -hmm. Clean them up and let them know. Feeding? Feeding after. Grass and so on. Yeah, you give grass and feed. And then in the evening, in the evening you will come back and what is the process? Same process that you want to do truck. Okay. The same process. Clean them up, start all right, everything all right. Mm -hmm. Feed, you have to feed everything all right. So your, your responsibility is that. 
As a man who has been here for a long time, Mr. Da Costa, let's start, up, start with horses. Who would have been some of the best horses you would have seen run here? Um, that's horses, but I was here for a period of time. Mm -hmm. So up to now, she's a man, you say. And it's, there's no bias there, right? There's no bias. It's <laughs> real can't tell you that. <laughs> okay. And the records speak for it. The records speak for it. Mm -hmm. They are speak for themselves as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about Jackie? Jackie? They need to know. And while she's my time, in my, my time, I, I start to be like something wrong. Why? Because the ass was foot and then she take him out of the put him to second to last. Mm -hmm. By the time he reached two for long, in part four hours and take himself. Six and three quarters, the jacket look on my foot. Mm -hmm. Comfortable. Okay. What about trainers? Trainer Winnie Caster, you know. When we run Winnie Caster, you need a most win race. As long as you take care of them all properly. Mm -hmm. I just get messed up by people from him. But I guess you know. Okay. We are now 2023, Mr. Da Costa. Yeah. Bandit. Yeah. What does the future hold for you? Are you still enjoying it? I'm still enjoying it. Just, just live on now. Mm -hmm. I'm just living on the game now. What am I say about nothing? Just live on. And how long do you see yourself continuing? I'm then I, I get stronger as oh, I be. I'm 69 right now, mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm just 30. And, and you are really comfortable with your comfortable. current trainer? Comfortable with my trainer right now. I am good like this right now. Mm -hmm. There's no problem between me and him right now. We're comfortable. So uh, maybe I will stay here for a long period. Let's close by asking Mr. Da Costa, who would have been some of the people who would have helped you along this journey? Well, helped me along this journey. It's just my mindset. Because down where I'm from, there are a lot of stables down there. Mm -hmm. And I just go around as a schoolboy, help around, see how they do it, jump around, get out of school, money, go to school, from groom, go to China. So I just learn by knowledge. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure Eddie Harrison played a, 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 a yeah, huge yeah, role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I start now. Mm -hmm. He's the first kid I go to a new from town. Mm -hmm. You have good work in relationship with all the, the grooms yeah. and everyone yeah. in your environment. Yeah. You all mouth each other and that's the that most. That's the most. That's the most. That's the most. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we run there until I like chase zero. I, I, and I worry about nothing right now. I'm just living on. Keep living. I got 12 kids, nine, nine boys, three girls, all big. So I'm nothing worried about. Okay. Just live on. All right, Bandit, we want to thank you yeah. for you know, sharing your time with us and yeah. we wish you all the best going forward. Yeah. Well, I hope I hope I win another trip to before I, I leave out. That's my wish. That's your wish. Uh, we want to you, speak like that. That's my wish. Have you ever... I, I never out of a young ass each year. So I never can tell what's going on. Mm. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallop.com, YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for more enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.